Hey, hey, learners, I hope that you were having a great day. In this lesson, you will learn more about heat energy. From where does heat energy come? Our most important source of heat energy is the sun. Heat energy is produced when fossil fuels like coal, petroleum oil and natural gas are burned. Heat energy also comes from friction. When you rub your hands together, heat energy is created. Heat energy is created when biomass like wood is burned. Heat energy is created by electricity. Heat energy is produced when your body uses food. Can you think of any other sources of heat energy? What should you know about heat energy from previous lessons? Remember that heat energy is also called thermal energy. You know that there are three states of matter. The solid form of water is ice. The liquid form of water is liquid water. The gas form of water is water vapor. Remember that water vapor is not the same as steam. Water vapor is not visible and is around us all the time. Steam is visible and only present in parts of the atmosphere like the clouds in the sky. When a solid is heated, melting takes place. The solid becomes a liquid. When a liquid is heated, evaporation takes place. The liquid becomes a gas. When a gas is cooled, condensation takes place. The gas becomes a liquid. When a liquid is cooled, freezing takes place. The liquid becomes a solid. You also know that the molecules of matter change when heated and cooled. You can see this in this animation. Can you tell when the matter is a solid, liquid or gas? What is the transfer of heat energy? The transfer of heat energy is the movement of heat energy through matter. There are three forms of the transfer of heat energy. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy through solids. Convection is the transfer of heat energy through liquids and gases. Radiation is the transfer of heat energy through space and the atmosphere. Let us look at conduction more closely. In this investigation we are asking which metal will conduct heat energy the fastest. The aim for this investigation is to determine which metal will conduct heat energy most quickly. You may formulate a hypothesis. What do you predict? I predict that the iron rod will conduct heat energy most quickly. Or I predict that the brass rod will conduct heat energy most quickly. Or I predict predict that the copper rod will conduct heat energy most quickly or I predict that the aluminum rod will conduct heat energy most quickly. To proceed with this investigation, you will need a conduction apparatus as shown here. The conduction apparatus has four metal rods which are a brass rod, aluminum rod, a steel rod and a copper rod. Pour boiling water into the conduction apparatus. Touch the ends of the rods with your fingers. Do not burn yourself. Record the results. What do you observe? Record your observations on the table below. You should observe that the copper rod conducts heat energy most quickly. The aluminum rod is second. The steel rod is third and the brass rod is fourth. What has happened? The heat energy move along the rods from the source of heat to where it is cooler. Heat energy moves in waves. We can conclude, from this investigation, that heat energy is conducted along a copper rod, more quickly than along an aluminum rod a steel rod or a brass rod.
We say that matter through which heat moves quickly, is a good conductor of heat energy. Matter that conducts heat energy slowly, is called a poor conductor or, an insulator of heat energy. This is important in our daily lives. The handle of a pot is an insulator whilst the pot is a conductor. This prevents one from getting burned. Can you identify the conductors and insulators in these examples? In this investigation, we will find out about convection through a liquid. In this investigation we are asking in which direction heat energy moves through a liquid. The aim for this investigation is to determine in which direction heat energy moves through a liquid. What do you predict will happen? I predict that heat energy moves in all directions through a liquid. Or I predict that heat energy moves upwards through a liquid. Or I predict that heat energy moves down words through a liquid. You will need a beaker or pot, a gas burner, tripod, wire gauze, potassium permanganate and water. Place a beaker or pot onto a gas burner with a wire gauze. Pour cold water into the beaker. Place a few crystals of potassium permanganate into the water on one side of the beaker. Heat the water using the gas burner. Observe in which direction the dissolving potassium permanganate crystals move. What happened to the dissolving crystals? In which direction did the heat energy move? The dissolving crystals moved upwards and then in a circular direction. The movement of a dissolving crystal was caused by the heat energy as the water was heated. What can we conclude from this investigation? We can say that heat energy moves upwards and then in a circular direction through a liquid. Our next investigation is about the convection of heat energy through a gas. We want to know in which direction heat energy moves through a gas. Our aim is to determine in which direction heat energy moves through a gas. Think of a good hypothesis. I predict that heat energy moves in all directions through a gas. Or I predict that heat energy moves upwards through a gas. Or I predict that heat energy moves downwards through a gas. To conduct this investigation, you will need to construct a convection apparatus. Construct a convection box using a box and a lid, plastic and tape. Cut a rectangular shape on one side of the box. Close the cover with plastic and tape. Make certain that the plastic is sealed well, so that nothing can escape from inside the box. Cut two holes in the lid. Use toilet roll centers to make chimneys. Cover the chimneys with aluminum foil. Place a candle under chimney A as in the diagram. Light the candle. Place a smoldering piece of paper into chimney B. Observe the direction in which the smoke moves.
What do you observe? In which direction does the smoke move? Can you explain why this happens? The smoke from the smoldering paper moves into the box through chimney B and then out the box in an upwards direction through chimney A. The smoke moves upwards through chimney A because the heat of the candle flame moves upwards. We may conclude that heat energy moves upwards through a gas. Our final investigation is about the radiation of heat energy. The question we need to answer is if a shiny or dark surface will radiate more heat energy. So, the aim is to determine if a shiny or dark surface radiates heat energy. Which of these hypotheses do you think will be true? I predict that a shiny surface radiates more heat energy. Or I predict that a dark surface radiates more heat energy. To conduct this investigation, you will need a food can or a coffee can. Paint one half of the side of the can black. Leave the other half shiny. Pour boiling water into the can. Place your hands near the shiny and dark sides at the same time. Observe which side of the can is hotter. Place your hands above the can and over the sides to see in which direction the heat energy moves. You should feel that the shiny surface is hotter. This is because the shiny surface radiates heat energy whilst the dark surface absorbs heat energy. You ought to also feel that the heat is not only above the can, it is all around the can. We can say that heat energy moves in all directions during radiation. We may conclude that a shiny surface radiates heat energy whilst a dark surface absorbs heat energy. Here are some ways in which the transfer of heat energy affects our daily lives. Can you identify the types of heat transfer in these examples? Can you complete this comparative table about the transfer of heat energy? Here is a summary of the main ideas of this lesson. Heat energy comes from different sources. Heat energy is also called thermal energy. The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. The solid state of water is ice. The liquid state of water is liquid water. The gas state of matter is water vapor. Matter expands when heated and contracts when cooled. The transfer of heat energy happens when heat energy moves through matter. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy through solids. Conductors and insulators of heat energy are useful. Convection is the transfer of heat energy through liquids and gases. Radiation is the transfer of heat energy through space in the atmosphere. During conduction, heat energy moves from the source of heat to cooler parts. During convection through liquids, heat energy moves upwards and then in a circular direction. During convection through gases, Heat energy moves in an upwards direction during radiation. Heat energy moves in all directions. The transfer of heat energy is used every day in many ways. Ha 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 ha. 
Ha 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 